This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purposes. Hello everyone and welcome to this video where today in Adobe Premiere Pro we're going to learn about the project panel, okay? So let's begin our lesson. Okay, so now first thing you're going to notice that over here we already know that this is the project panel and in the previous lesson I taught you about the importing basics. Now the importing basics file is still over here and this is another feature of Adobe Premiere Pro is that you can continue using another project panel. If you want to use two project panels at once, you can do that also in order to get your editing or whatever you prefer, basically. Okay. So we know that the project panel is where we store all the elements needed to create your finished video. It can contain individual video clips, audio clips, titles photos, and graphical images. When you import new items, they appear automatically on the project panel. Now, the project panel also contains sequences, okay, which include all the data in a particular timeline. When you create a new project, the project panel contains a single sequence known as sequence one, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and explore the project panel first. Here we have the list views, just like before we know what they do, but this time I'm going to teach, I'm going to teach you a trick. You do, do you know that the tilde key on your keyboard makes the project panel more easier to use? Okay. Let me show you what the tilde key basically is. Okay. If I press shift on my keyboard and press the key right beside on the left side on our number one key, you'll see that this key pops up. Okay. So if I just press shift and this, you can see that this is the key that pops up. Now I'll just basically press it once on my keyboard. And after that, you'll notice that Adobe Premiere Pro has basically tiled our entire project panel in front of us. And this way we can very easily organize our work without hassle. All right, now we know the list view, we know our basic icon view, and here you can see that we can preview our work, but we cannot preview our media. All right, here we have a sequence, here we have another video. This is a JPG, which means a image folder. This is also image folders. And after that, we have the freeform view. Now, what the freeform view has in store for us might surprise you a lot. Firstly, in the freeform view, we can basically click and drag our items. For example, I want to drag all the images into a single area. I can do that too by clicking and dragging. I can drag all of them over here. I can drag this too. All right, now you can see that this is how we can use the freeform area basically to move the whole thing all at once. And then I can just right click. Over here, after I selected my items and then open the source monitor and edit anything the way I want it to, or absolutely what you prefer to do using this tool. Okay. So let's go back to your icon view. And just like in the last class, I'll just teach you something over here. You can notice that we have multiple types of information in our project panel. Now, in order to edit this, you just right click over here on this panel over here. All right. And then select metadata display. And over here, go over to the first panel, which is the project premiere pro project metadata. And then you can see that these are the things that have been selected. Let's unselect some stuff that we don't need. and we will basically select media type okay this will help you a lot in order to know what type of folder or basically what type of audio image type your media related files are okay now 
I'll tell you something about this. Basically, if you change your metadata display from for one project panel, it will not go to the next project panel that you create, okay? Now, you have to remember this or else while you try to work in a new project panel, you might be confused and think your software is bugged. It is not, okay? So let's click on OK. And after that, you can see that I have the media type option over here. And then I can see what types of files I have. Here we have the still image, the sequence, the movie. And if I just click on this, everything is now totally organized. And you have these types of files, OK? Here first we have the video. A video file is basically where you have just a video with no audio. Still images, we know what they are. A sequence in Adobe Premiere Pro is an individual video timeline where a single video is edited on a single sequence. It is similar to a basket where all clips, layers, and objects are assembled to create a complete project. Okay? Then afterwards, we have a movie. A movie is basically where we have both the video and the audio and another audio file over here as you can clearly see and here you can see that i have different types of icons for the types of files that i need this is for the video the images sequence and this is for a file with both this is for a media file with both audio and video and this is just audio okay now what we can do over here is basically right click also to create a new folder for example, let's say now let's create a folder to put in my videos so I can type in video over here and then what I'll do is basically click on this and then I'll just move it over here and afterwards you'll see that the video has been shifted from my project panels outside part to the inside part, okay? Here you can see that, okay? Now what I can also do is basically select the files that I want to put in a folder, right click and then select new selection, new bin from selection. Okay. And then you can see that all my files over here have been selected and now it is asking me a file name. So I'll put the file name as photos and press enter. Now you can see that it is done. And if I double click on the folder, it will take me to a separate part of my project panel where it is saying bin photos okay now i can just close this panel and then go back to my project panel over here or i can just use them over here just like before okay all right so now i'm going to teach you how to use the extra options for an advanced project panel so over here you can see that we have these three lines over here we can just click on this and it will give all of the settings and options that you can use for your project panel. Here, we can close it, undock it. I already explained this. Then we can also close the project and close all other projects, save it or reveal the project in Explorer. Then we can also create a new file from here, new project. We can also find our files from here. For example, let me just click on find over here. Then I can just say that I want to find a name okay and the operator contents we can go over here and select what the operator wants whether it starts with this ends with this matches exact and does not contain okay we can also select the color or basically this color over here and then we can select match all or any and we can select case sensitive now let's say i want to find wish you would never left this audio file so I'll just type in W-I-S-H and then select find. And then afterwards, you'll see that I'm done. Premiere Pro automatically just finds the file for me and highlights it for me, okay? Then we have this option for icon, free from every option that I've already showed you over here, basically. And afterwards, we have the preview area thumbnails okay now if you select on the preview area if i select a file then you'll see that we get a preview of what our file is now let's go inside over here okay now you can see that we have that image this image this one too so basically we can get a preview of what our folder will be our file 
then right click again and this time we have thumbnail options okay if i click on thumbnail now we have thumbnails on the files that we have basically selected as you can clearly see okay and afterwards you'll see that we have this hover scrub option this hover scrub is basically this part where you can hover your mouse and then select any part of the video like that okay and then we have another option basically thumbnail controls for all pointing devices this is when you use a wacom tablet or any mobile device while using premiere pro it will help you to navigate to project panel now if i click on this and basically go to to the freeform view or anything it will not work for mine but it will work for your mobile or any freeform device that you use okay now afterwards we have this font size option where you can choose the text size metadata display if i click on this you will notice that it is basically what i did earlier okay let's go back to the list view and afterwards we have save as view view preset restore view presets okay all right so this is all you need to know about the additional information over here now let's go forward with these options where you can zoom in and over here afterwards we have this find option which i already showed you before then we have a new bin icon over here which will basically make a new folder just like that as you can see now this time let's type in movie just enter and I can basically click and drag movie over here and we're done. And after the new free, uh, after the new bin option, we have the new item where if you click on this, we can select the sequence, project shortcut, offline file, offline file, adjustment layer, bars and tone, black video, color mat, universal counting leader, and transfer video. All right, I already explained to you what a sequence is, the project shortcut, you already know that, and offline file, okay? So this will basically add an offline file to your project panel, okay? And then we have the clear option, which will basically, if you select a file over there and select clear, it will delete it. For example, if I go over here, select this file, delete it, it is gone, like literally gone. There's nothing here anymore. Press Ctrl Z to undo that and bring our file back as you can clearly see. Okay, so this is what you need to know about our project panel. Let's press the tilde key, and go back to our normal view. Right. Okay. All right. So getting to really master and understand how to work with the project panel from okay, excuse me, project panel from making it bigger to able to stay organized with their bins and to be able to see different views as a list or a series of thumbnails making them larger also customizing all of the columns here okay and there are so many different levels in terms of scrubbing through all your content is very important so before you move forward with actually editing your videos make sure you really get comfortable with the project panels all right so import some content get yourself organized get some content in there and make sure you understand how to navigate how to work through the panel itself to be able to get your content quickly and easily and stay organized all right so practice that and I'll see you in the next lesson, okay?